Hi, I'm Alec, uh, and I'm from Canterbury. I uh, studied at Christchurch University. Um, I study sound art or electronic music, um, more focused on uh, computer generative music, um, which is more about designing an algorithm to create a piece that will last a certain amount of time, depending on how complex the algorithm is. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what we do. That's what you do. Yeah. And you, you started to tell me this yeah. when you came into the gallery and you yeah, looked yeah. at the work. Is there, do there you is, see a sort of connection? Yeah, that was one of the first things I saw, like this sort of, like the correlation between various parts and like different components as a, like not as just like singular events, but as a whole event. And this, like the complexity of even this like, series of images here, they all fit together in its own way. And this sort of, I don't know, very free and organic. And these lines, the white lines intersecting everything. Um, yeah, I see that more as generative than anything else. It just sort of moves, it has this fluidity about it. It would be inter awesome. interesting to know what sort of music you'd make that would accompany this oh, well, painting. I mean, I don't know. do you think uh, it would be possible to do a thing like that? Yeah, definitely, definitely. It would probably take a bit of time to sort of sit down and think about it, but yeah. something like this would be very interesting to play with. Is that a sort of project that people who do your work do? I mean, yeah, yeah, do you yeah, use a theme, a basic there's, there's theme? Definitely, there's definitely stimulus, like, um, I suppose like with any sort of creative endeavour you have to have some, like, creative limitation, otherwise you, you have a whole plethora of stuff and you'll get lost in it and you'll lose yeah. the idea that you know, you want it to start with, I suppose. So have you done that? Have you, have you taken some sort of theme yeah. as the basis of work you've done? Yes, yes, definitely. Um, well, especially when I was studying for my degree, um, we take stimulus from, well, our own means and the means of our lecturers as well. So uh, especially when we were creating sort of more polyrhythmic work yeah. um, and exploring like the idea of rhythms that come in nature or naturally. Yeah. Um, then, yeah, we, we sort of get given a set of things that we can say, oh, this, we want to study this, this or this, hmm. or go down this route, or go down this route. But, yeah, this sort of idea of um, having stimulus to create music from is, is definitely founded in sound art, definitely. Yes. I was thinking, well, we were talking a little earlier yeah, yeah, of Steve yeah. Reich, where, who went out and yeah. recorded It's Gonna Rain, yeah, this really is a good example in New York, and then he snipped bits yeah. and then played around with that. Well, is that's, that's more like creating, I don't know, creating context from something that initially doesn't have a context or already has a context. Yeah. And you, you take the context of that, like for example, Steve Wright's work, It's Gonna Rain, and you give it new context mm. by giving it new rhythm instead of this just like, just our normal way of speaking is layering up in a way that gives it new meaning. Like, yeah, I suppose that. And you were saying that there's somebody created an algorithm which produces... Yes. Oh, I, I can't remember the chap's name, but he wrote an algorithm that is set over the course of 100 years, so the, the, the generation of like different rhythms and melodies will happen over the course of 100 years, oh. and no section would be the same. It will yeah. always change, always ongoingly change. Yeah. It has this sort of more organic feel to it as you know as a as opposed to sitting down scoring thinking this melody is going to sound nice and then rigidly structuring how music fits together yeah. um we, we need to move away from that really we need to i suppose start. john cage is a big yeah influence. cage oh bloody hell cage a lot of cage that was <laughs> university's <laughs> mind-boggling uh, experiences really yeah john cage um, but i really enjoy lots well his sort of like freer approach to composition um, is inspiring, definitely, and taking inspiration from the world around you, definitely. So, who would you recommend we listen to? Uh, say some, something on YouTube that would be a very good illustration of what you're talking of about. Of generative music? How about any of your work? I mean, is uh, there my, my work is still in hiding at the moment, yeah. <laughs> waiting for the right time to come out. Um, but. I don't know, sort of generative... Could we put a piece of your work on our website? Um, maybe, if I can find some that's worth it. Because <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know, it's just sort of on the edge of what's really listenable. You see oh. what I mean? 
because um, it's more about the texture and the design of the sound as opposed to like any sort of generic melody or like rhythm. Yeah. It's more sort of say experimental noise. Yeah. It is um, I suppose who who's a noise artist that's quite good. Um, a Yoshidi, um, Japanese noise artist. Say his name again? Yoshidi, uh, Yoshidi. I can't remember his surname. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've written my dissertation, so um, not off the top of my head. Uh, but yeah. Oh well. Well, thanks for introducing no, us no, to that. That's the first time I've met anyone who works in polyphonic. Well, um, polyrhythms, out polyrhythmic like, you know, music, sound yeah. art. Sound art, yes. Art. That's it, in yeah. general, but this is sort of visual media. Mm. I work in the, ba the basis of sound as yes. Yes. So, yeah. Oh, well, nice to meet you. Well, thank, thank you very you, much. Thank you.